Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another Dino Squad adventure for you here. And this is going to be a bit different than our uh, typical video because I'm going to just talk a little bit about the state of the game. We're going to be a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to talk about the state of the game and we're going to talk about maybe what we should do uh, going forward as a community and as the developers and maybe some suggestions to improve the game. And so you see on the screen here, these, after playing for a while, these are sort of what I feel the game needs. Unlimited spawning, get rid of it. Better matchmaking, easier leveling, and interchangeable weapons. So let's jump into a game. I will take a step back, and I'll talk a little bit about why I think this is a good idea. Okay, so I've been playing War Robots since 2014, one of the few old school guys that are still left. And uh, so I, I strongly support Pixonic. I love the game. I love War Robots. I love, I love what they've done. One of the things about War Robots is that it has a winning formula. And that is that it gives you a finite number of robots to use. And it forces you, because you only have those five robots, it forces you to play smart. It forces you to use teamwork. It forces you to think before you just run off willy-nilly shooting in every random direction. And you can do that. You can run in every direction you want and just shoot the sky and shoot everybody, run to center, do all that stuff. But if you don't play smart, well, what happens? That's right. You get killed. And once you get killed, you're dead. You're dead. And if you play stupidly, if you play like a dummy, you are going to cost your team the game. Right? Right? Okay, well, fast forward to Dino Squad. Now, I know that the intention of Dino Squad was that uh, they wanted it to be all action all the time, no sitting around waiting, no hiding behind anything, just go, go, go 100 miles an hour. Sounds great on paper, but what I'm finding, and I know there's some guys, every single time I do something like this, somebody will put their hand up and go like, but Pappy, I love it this way. Well, that's great, awesome, good for you. But what I'm saying is, what, the, what I find is the problem with the game today that could be improved is that there's no consequences. Uh, you, you run, you shoot, you get killed, you die, you run, you shoot, you get killed, you die, you die, you spawn again, you die, you die, you die, you spawn, you kill, you kill somebody else, you die, you spawn. Bingo, bango. It's just a big blur. And by the end of it, 10 minutes or so have gone by, the game's suddenly over, and you're like, oh, I guess the game's over. Well, whoopsie do. Let's see. How, let's. Whoa, look at that. I got 27 kills. Isn't that great? I, I just think that if you limited the number of, of bots people had, um, it would just make the game so much more... more um, the stakes would be so much higher, number one. Because imagine, like, imagine, you know, I mean, if you, if you actually... You yourself, you know, I mean, if you ran out and someone said, you know, you, you know, you're going to play paintball, but if you get hit, you're out of the game versus you get hit and oh, well, shrug, you just keep playing. It doesn't matter if you get hit or not. You have to stand there for one second and then you basically keep going, right? Eventually be like, well, what's the point? Like I, I'm not, there's no risk. There's no reward, right? So that's number one. Now, number two, the matchmaking. Now, I know Pixonic has made a tweak to the matchmaking recently. And also tried to rebalance it. And they're trying to rebalance it all the time. I get it. And, I, you know, again, I support the company. I think they're trying to do the best job they can. But I'm telling you right now that the matchmaking is not balanced right now. If you look at this game, I mean, if you've been paying attention while I've been talking, I mean, I'm yakking away here. Sorry about that. But if you actually watch this game, look at that. I'm already done four of my bots already. I'm on my fifth bot. I don't even know if I got one kill yet. Not even sure if I got one kill. Now, there's a guy in this game called Sicario. Um, he kills me in this game, I would say, probably at least seven to ten times. At least. Maybe more. Maybe more. And, I mean, you look at the beacons here. I mean, they got all the beacons on us. There you go. I've just got killed by my buddy Sicario again. And this guy, Sicario, clearly has a souped-up hanger with souped up weapons and souped up dinos. And you know what? I don't begrudge them that. I, I know there's gonna be guys that are crying on, oh, Pappy's a crybaby, oh, boo-hoo, go play Candy Crush, whatever. I get it. I am not against guys leveling up their dinos or their weapons or getting the special modules. I mean, that's the point of the game. But let's think about War Robots again. Like, I'm a totally maxed player, MK2, level 12, most of my gear. 
I can easily go out and score between four, around four million damage. Four to, I've never got five million, but I got close to four million. I'm averaging around two something. The game is fun when I actually play against other guys my level. When I play against play, tough players, strong players. I mean, look at this. Look at on the screen right now. I, I have been killed so many times by Sicario and these other guys. I can't even spawn in to play. Think about that for a second. It's a game built on action, and yet I literally am not allowed to play because I didn't even cause enough damage to make enough of those little energy resource things to spawn a dino. So now I'm sitting here watching a screen count down. And finally, look at that. Finally, I'm able to spawn one dino. Well, it's kind of funny too. Look at this guy. He's exploiting a glitch. Somehow he's standing in the sky and he's halfway out and he's just sniping people. I mean, that's another issue, but... I mean, think about that. You're playing an action game where now you literally have been killed so many times by a super-powered player with no chance of causing any damage, literally dying within seconds, seconds after you spawn. Look at me. Look at my health going down. Who's even shooting me? I don't even understand what happened there. Sicario just killed me again with some sort of electrical weapon that wasn't even didn't even look like it was hitting me i don't even know what happened there and look look at this i can't play this is twice in one game because i'm playing players that are so much more stronger and more powerful and more leveled up i can't even play and now the game's over now let's check a look. Let's check check it out and take a look here at how how things worked out. Came fourth. I got three kills. Sicario got twenty three kills. Now that's nothing. I've seen some guys get forty eight and fifty kills. Like I don't get it. Like how can that be fun? How can that be fun for the player? How can that be fun for the guy getting destroyed? It would be like if I had MK2 level 12 maxed Ravanas, Phantoms, and Leeches, and someone threw me into a game with a bunch of level 4 Destriers and Cossacks all running around with Molots or, um, or Punishers and, or, or Spirals and letting me kill them like 170 times in 10 minutes. I don't know. I just don't get it. So... What's, what, what's the point of all this ranting and roaring? Well, if you stuck around, I appreciate it. Um, I know I come, I'm coming across like I'm sponsored by Kleenex. I know I, it sounds like I'm just crying. But if I'm going to cry a tear for Dino Squad, it's going to be because I think it has such great potential. I mean, if you listen to the sounds of the game now, they're really working on the sounds. I think there's an immense amount of creativity. They have this new dinosaur that's coming out. It's, it looks awesome. There's just so much to work with here. But going back to this original idea of what does the game need? Well, it needs to end the unlimited spawning so that we actually care about the dinos that we have, number one. Number two, most vital, we need better matchmaking. I'm super low level right now. I'm playing mostly war robots. I'm trying to squeeze Dino Squad in as well and look after kids and family and everything else like that. Like, we all have lives. And, like... I can't play. It's unplayable to play against guys that are so far ahead of you, so leveled up, so super powered that you literally are nothing but cannon fodder for them just to just to basically rack up their silver resources, whatever, and that kind of thing. Number three, there has to be a better way to progress and level up. You know, I have the same dinos that I've had now for weeks because I can't get enough resources to actually buy the new stuff. Um, uh, you know, without without opening my checkbook and my wallet. And in fact, I finally saved up enough gold to buy um, buy a new version of the Archon, a new sniper bot. I don't even want, or a dino, I don't even want the damn thing. I don't even want to be a sniper, and yet I'm forced to play a sniper. And the only one I can afford to replace it is another sniper, unless I save a thousand more gold. So that brings me to my final point, which is, I really, I know they're trying to make the game unique, but why do we need to be stuck with the same weapons? 
and have such limited choice. If I want to ride around in an Archon duck dinosaur, but put machine guns on it and not be a sniper, I should be allowed to do that. And if I want to do be in one of those Ankylosaurus things, and I want to run flamethrowers on it, I should be allowed to do that. It's called player freedom. It's called creativity. It allows you, the, the player, to be in control of your own destiny and how you choose to play and not be forced and pigeonholed into this idea of how the game demands that you play. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you know, I might make some uh, some enemies with this one. Some people are going to be like, oh, yeah, Pappy, you suck. And, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. And I love the game because I kill 58 people every game with my gigantic Tyrannosaurus superpower dino. That's that's cool, guys. That's fine. Um, no hard feelings. Uh, but I really do. I love the game. I love. I, let me put it this way. I love what the game could be with just some tweaks in the right direction. So take it for what you want. Um, I'm still going to keep making Dino Squad videos and you can also check out my War Robot stuff. Um, you know, if you want to click on the subscribe, awesome. No pressure. Do it. Don't. I don't, you know, it's up to you guys. Um, until next time, see you in the battlefield.